The Twilight Zone, an eyewitness to history, will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you the fourth discussion between Vice President Richard Nixon and Senator John Kennedy. The Twilight Zone, an eyewitness to history, will return next week on most of these stations. I'm Quincy Howe of, CB of ABC News saying good evening from New York where the two major candidates for President of the United States are about to engage in their fourth radio television discussion of the present campaign. Tonight, these men will confine that discussion to foreign policy. Good evening, Vice President Nixon. Good evening, Mr. Howe. And good evening, Senator Kennedy. Good evening, Mr. Howe. Now let me read the rules and conditions under which the candidates themselves have agreed to proceed. As they did in their first meeting, both men will make opening statements of about eight minutes each and closing statements of equal time running three to five minutes each. During the half hour, between the opening and closing statements, the candidates will answer and comment upon questions from a panel of four correspondents chosen by the nationwide networks that carry the program. Each candidate will be questioned in turn with opportunity for comment by the other. Each answer will be limited to two and one half minutes, each comment to one and one half minutes. The correspondents are free to ask any questions they choose in the field of foreign affairs. Neither candidate knows what questions will be asked. Time alone will determine the final question. Reversing the order in their first meeting, Senator Kennedy will make the second opening statement and the first closing statement. For the first opening statement, here is Vice President Nixon. Mr. Howe, Senator Kennedy, my fellow Americans. Since this campaign began, I have had a very rare privilege I have traveled...